Hi, it's Holly and we're back with another Fine and Country property tour. This time we're in the attractive village of Rainford, out in the countryside just 10 miles from the centre of Liverpool. As you can see behind me, this home has got loads of curb appeal, but what is super interesting is actually on the inside. There's loads of top quality brands and I can't wait to show you, so follow me. I am instantly impressed by the presentation of this home. It's clearly been very carefully and considerately renovated. And this sweeping staircase in the main hall shows a great indication of the craftsmanship to come through the rest of the home. I particularly love these polished floor tiles which continue into the next room. I wanted to bring you first into the kitchen area, mostly because of its fantastic layout. We start up the top here in the kitchen and then we move down to a dining space, a snug area, finishing with a light and bright orangery at the end. I think we'd have all the cooking going on up here, there'd be mingling in the middle and then people coming in from the garden just at the end. It's great for entertaining, but you'd probably find me somewhere in the middle, avoiding all responsibility when it came to food. In the kitchen, we've got these brown polished units, which actually I haven't seen before. Generally you have a black or a white or a gray kitchen, but this is not a normal kitchen. It's a designer kitchen. I love that the brown really complements all of the gold accents in here. There are also built-in NEF appliances, including a coffee machine. In the dining area, there is a large dining table in here at the moment, great for a family. There's eight chairs round the table, and I have actually just spotted on the backs of these chairs, there's an Aston Martin logo. So these chairs, super high quality, and I think here is exactly where I would be taking my breakfast. Across from the dining area, there is a lovely little snug space with huge sofas. There's also a recessed gas fire. And I just imagine that this space would be perfect for after dinner coffees really winding down in the evening. This property is offered as a turnkey finished home. So everything you see on this tour is offered for sale. One fitting I actually do keep noticing is just above our heads here. These super trendy statement light fittings are almost like a work of art in themselves. I really like that they have been placed central to each section of this space so that there is a distinction between all of the areas and you can light different spaces when you are using them. So one area of this room that certainly doesn't need extra lighting is the orangery behind me. There are sash windows all the way around and French doors at the back leading out to the side garden. This room feels lovely and warm and cosy and actually that's thanks to the underfloor heating in these tiles. Now obviously this room is really lavish. We've got Gucci sofas, there's Hermes crockery in the display cabinet, but for me, my personal favourite feature is this huge skylight up above. On our way to the formal lounge, I just wanted to pause in this hallway and take in some of the scale in this property. The ceilings are super high, everything's oversized, the artwork oversized, and even the doorways are really large. I love that we've got this double door into the lounge. There are several more pieces of classic artwork in the lounge with the colors again tying in with the decor of the home. We've got the brown polished furnishings and again even more gorgeous designer furniture. For me, as soon as I walked in, I was instantly drawn to this statement fireplace with its stone surround and its iron features. We've also got double French doors leading out onto the garden. The second of the two ground floor reception rooms is also accessed via the entrance hall and has a large sash window overlooking the rear garden. The room is decorated with Versace furnishings and also features a large feature wall in a marble effect. Opposite this room is a practical study space with plenty of room for this Hermes desk and multiple chairs. My favourite feature of this room is without doubt the glazed patterned feature wall, which has been imported from Dubai. 
aided by the stylish lighting overhead, this room would be the perfect contemporary work from home space. As I mentioned earlier, this property is located in Rainford, a village in Merseyside, just a 40 minute drive from the vibrant city of Liverpool. The surrounding area is very peaceful, so it is great for those that want to live a rural lifestyle while still being accessible to the city nearby. Some of the most recommended pubs in the area include the Golden Lion and the Derby Arms, both located just down the road. We are also close to Knowsley Safari Park, a fantastic family day out. 10 miles away, you've got Liverpool city centre, bustling with culture, bars, pubs, restaurants, galleries and docklands. Made world famous by the Beatles, there is never a dull moment in the city. Known for its passionate community, its football club and its music scene. Wow, now this bedroom really makes a statement. This principal suite is huge. Just look at the size of the bed for starters. I really like this headboard. I like that it stretches across the length of the back wall. I think if it was me though, I'd probably have some artwork just across here. But all in all, I really like the minimalist design in this home. Maximum space, especially in this room. There's a Juliet balcony in this bedroom. And I really like that we've got these designer seats here to create a little seating area. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I love a morning coffee. And this is the space where I would be having that coffee. I'd be catching up on my socials, sitting by the fire and just chilling out, ready to start my day. Now, this bedroom doesn't end there. There's actually more rooms to explore down the ends. For me, this area here would need to be converted into the ideal dressing area space. I'd probably have a makeup station just at the end under that light, but to my left, there is a room which could be reconfigured as a dressing room. At the moment, it's completely empty, so it's got lots of choice for what it could be turned into. But what I really want to take a look at is just through this door. The ensuite is super decadent. I love the gold accents throughout this room. The floating sink and the matching wall and floor tiles make this room super modern and trendy. Now, as you can see, I've made myself quite at home here. I think it quite suits me. Now, we have got another guest bedroom here just on my right, but what I really want to talk about is this family bathroom. I know I told you that the ensuite was decadent, but this one is my favourite. I love in this room how we've got the matching wall and floor tiles again with those gold accents coming through. Floating sink over here and a walk-in shower, but on top of that, a gorgeous bathtub here with what is the best feature of this room, a television mounted on the wall. Now, there is another bedroom in the main home. It's on the top floor, so I think I'll meet you up there. We're up in the third bedroom now, and this one is also en suite. It would be perfect for visiting guests because you can just completely separate this area up here from the rest of the sleeping areas down below. There are inset windows in the ceiling, letting in lots of natural light. The same is in the ensuite, and I really like this bathroom because of its matte black fittings. As we saw around the front of the house, this family home is set in its own private grounds, just off a private road as well. This terrace at the back can be accessed from the formal living room behind me and the kitchen as well. And I love that we've got these two separately designed areas. We've got the terrace up the top, patio, perfect for garden parties and for cocktails, or this lawn landscaped area down below, great for family entertaining. Now, you might think that we've come to the end of the tour. You might think that's all of the living space, but let me tell you, there is more to discover. So follow me and we'll go and find the annex.
in the driveway there is a double garage which we are just above now in this purpose-built self-contained one bedroom annex it's really well appointed with an l-shaped sofa in here there's a spacious kitchen a lovely bedroom and an ensuite as well this space would be great again for visiting guests or live-in staff so as well as the one bedroom apartment upstairs in the basement of the garage there is space for a cinema room. Some of the brands that we've seen today include Versace, Hermes, Neff, Bentley, Aston Martin, too many to even name. This home has clearly been designed and curated by someone with a real passion for design. And I've loved exploring the home, the vision that they've created. Now, if you're eagerly awaiting our next tour, don't worry, we've got something really special lined up for you. And if you can't wait that long and you want to look back at our old tours, please subscribe to the Finding Country YouTube channel. And if you like this tour, don't forget to give the video a like, comment down below, what was your favourite brand, is it all to your taste? Let me know and I'll see you next time.